Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I'm your host Wally and today we are at Brussels Bend State Park, south of Houston. It's part of the great parks that you see along the Independence Trail of Texas. It was rainy as I got there, but thankfully the rain subsided a bit and I was able to walk around. It's kind of a tropical marshy area got to look out for alligators which i did not see at the park i guess it was too cold or too late or maybe they don't like the rain but in my life i have only seen one texas alligator which is disappointing because apparently this family that was there before me said they saw 31 the last time they were there but as you see here's the park I wouldn't recommend swimming with all the alligators that are supposedly there. But there's plenty of places to fish off of. You've got this nice little bayou there that's nice and tranquil. It's got all these loops and bends that turn into oxbow lakes and such. There's no elevation gain once again, so it's easy to just walk around, enjoy some of the view. Park yourself along some gazebos, look at wildlife and these little moths that are chewing up this tree. The picnic inside, which is what you're seeing here, is also pretty nice and cool. They've got plenty of trees and grass and tables. Once you walk into the park, further into the park, you'll see some of the marshlands, some of the wetlands. There's some ducks there that are just hanging out. Said it's late in the season, so not a lot of not a lot of birds out there. But the, there's one. I think it's a heron, a night heron. It's also the home to the George Observatory, which we'll get back to in towards the end of the video. It's got some pretty cool telescopes that you can go and look at. Uh, you need to reserve your space weeks in advance so it gets pretty popular and pretty packed. There's some boardwalks you can go out to to get a closer view and there's my baby alligator! Look how cute he is! Baby alligator! It would not move. It's like, I'm invisible. You do not see me. But you see more of the marshlands. There's a trail that walks around. This is supposedly the trail that has all the alligators just lounging out and about. And there's the 40 acre lake. Good for fishing. There's an ibis just hanging out. Looking for stray guppies and crustaceans. That was another one. See the Alligators are supposed to just bask along the trail, but there was no sun, so they had no need to bask, I guess. You can climb up the tower and see just how big the park is. You can see what it is trying to preserve, and I think it's worth it. You can continue walking along the trails, hoping to see alligators. There's some ducks just enjoying life. More of those ponds that I told you about with little islands in them. And uh, I guess that's where all the birds are hanging out at night. There's another night heron. Their necks stretch out, don't worry. And I decided to come back late at night to watch the sunset. It's always pretty. see just how pretty those sunsets are and I came back because I wanted to come to the observatory and when you get there it's pitch black you have to walk along this trail which you have to follow <coughs> it changes to red lighting 
to help your eyes because it's supposed to be the lighting that doesn't damage your eyes and makes it easier for you to go back between watching stars and looking around. There's the observatory. You can hear all the people that are actually there. There's a big telescope. And uh, I think that was Jupiter that it was aimed at. But I was able to see Jupiter and its four moons. I was able to see Saturn and its rings. Venus and its phases. It was actually a pretty, pretty cool, neat thing to do. But anyways, that's the state park for you. Make sure to visit all of them. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys at the next video.